Now to new details about the condition of Sergeant Bo Bergdahl freed in a controversial prisoner swap with the Taliban two weeks ago. He's back in America, but not yet seeing or talking to his parents who pushed so hard for his release. ABC's Jeff Zeleny has more from Washington and good morning to you, Jeff. Good morning, Rebecca. You're right. He is back in the U.S. in what army doctors call a good physical state. But it was a quiet American homecoming for Sergeant Bo Bergdahl, whose release is still steeped in controversy. This morning, Sergeant Bo Bergdahl is waking up on American soil for the first time after returning from five years of captivity as a prisoner of war in Afghanistan. At a medical center in Texas, Bergdahl is talking, but so far not to his mother or father. And I believe the family understands that process at this point in time. Officials say it's his choice. He's not asked to speak with them. ABC News has learned he's only called a close friend, a woman named Kim, who released some of his emails to the Washington Post that reportedly show a fragile state of mind before he was captured. I think it's premature to talk about diagnoses or emotional fragility at this time. Let me go. It's the latest window into the complicated go. and still puzzling relationship between Bergdahl and his parents, who stood in the White House Rose Garden only two weeks ago Helping as President Obama announced Bo's Bergdahl's release. release. Good afternoon, everybody. His parents had pushed the Obama this administration morning, to uh, negotiate uh, his release uh, from the uh, Taliban. Uh, his father even growing a beard and learning the Pashto language of his son's captors. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. But criticism has overshadowed Bergdahl's homecoming. And now to the firestorm over Bo Bergdahl. Fresh outrage in Congress this Questions morning. Questions are still raging over the deal. The 28-year-old Army sergeant is unaware of the controversy. He's secluded as part of his recovery. But after returning to the U.S. on Friday, he as saluted his superiors, who are investigating his activity. capture. He appeared just like any sergeant would when they see a stutar a two-star general, a little bit nervous, but he looked good and again saluted and had good deportment. Now, Army officials say they're trying to slowly ease him into life outside captivity, including that reunion with his family, but it's unclear when that will happen. We're told so far he's shown no interest in communicating with either his parents or his sister. Dan and Rebecca. So many more questions to be answered in this case. Jeff, mm -hmm. thank you.